and art is a science. Um, unfortunately, the context in which, from which he spoke, the Stanford Business School, has long stood for the science of investing. Now that leads people down all sorts of paths. That you end up with 60% of American money today being indexed and not, not actually selected as a result of the belief that markets are efficient. And the entire sweep of modern portfolio theory that overwhelms investing today in the search for false certainty um, falls away in Professor McDonald's class, where there's a love. That? Could we tighten that up a little sure. bit? Sure. I love what you said yes. about, you know, he looked at it as an art versus yes. a science. Yes. Typically, Stanford and GBS thought of it more as a science. Yes. What he did, and, and stay away from some of the jargon, if you could, yes. about what, you know, tighten up what sure. you need. Sure. This is so special. You know, what, what the standard theology at, at Stanford Business School um, involves for investing is the belief that markets are efficient. The belief that with efficiency, there are certain derivable factors. That if you harness those, enough of those derivable factors, then irregardless of whether a, a, a CEO of a given company is a crook or a star, if you invest in all companies, you get the average return. And in Professor McDonald's class, it was quite clear from the very start that he wasn't in it for average returns. He was looking for that special combination of fabulous manager, fabulous business at a fabulous price. Uh, and that's hard to find, but it's worth the search. And any student who went through Professor McDonald's course realizes that it's, it's a career, it's a life pursuit, and it was for him. And he gave an example of how, um, even when I had him as a teacher, he was in his mid-60s, I think, um, how um, that, that search and that pursuit left him well. Talk a little bit more for me, if you would, Tom, about Jack's vision of it being more of an art than a science and yes. how that felt as a student. How did that come across? Jack's vision of, of teaching uh, the art of investing um, involves the only way I believe that investing is properly taught, which is storytelling. Investments are a series of stories. And, and uh, Professor McDonald had his own stories. He had stories that came from his co-teachers, um, Stuart Klein, and before Stuart, Bob Kirby. And he had an infinite number of investment stories shared with his students over decades through his guest lecturers. And, and the most impressive part about the latter group, um, which is you know, in the hundreds probably over, over his 50-year career, um, is how differently each of them made their money but how important for each of them it was to stay true to one discipline. And, and he would have had uh, private equity. Um, he would have had venture capitalists. He had, um, you think David Bellet is a venture capitalist, private equity, uh, uh, um, uh, Vikings founder. Um, uh, uh, there are a tremendous number of people uh, from those different investment verticals who each delivered uh, uh, stories of businesses that they made investments in that succeeded and failed. And it's the learnings that come from the process of trying to resuscitate a failing business or uh, making, uh, making in, uh, in hindsight, what was, were the ingredients that, uh, that spelled the success of the seller investments that are the stories that we take as students from his class um, and then apply them to the rest of our lives. They're mental models, indeed, where if I see something, I'll say, well, I understand that. I'll give you an example, two examples, actually. Both international, ironically, because one of the side lessons at, at Professor McDonald's course was the absolute um, uh, untouched opportunity to look abroad as an investor. Um, Professor McDonald has Stop said... Waiting. You're going to have to yeah. watch the mic. That's uh, right. Because this is something... You're doing great. Yes. You're getting, giving me a couple of good sound yes. mics that no one's given. But I'd love you to talk about... One of the most important things yeah. was his focus early on yes. on going outside yes. the U.S. Yes. Yes. And maybe so, you can give me an example yes. of that yes. we brought in. Yep. So we we'll keep it tight. So his focus on um, ex-U.S. Yes. companies, that yes. seemed to be kind of radical. Well, it really was. This is 1982. And, you know, can you say one of the things oh, that made him yes, unique yes, or radical was yes, back in the yes, 80s, yes, he yes, was, yeah. Um, you know, one of the most interesting... Start, start again. Yeah. One of the most interesting aspects of Professor McDonald's stories that he and others told involved international investing. Um, at the time, in the early 1980s, it was extremely difficult to invest abroad. Um, 
Uh, currencies were 